What happened to the first civilizations of the universe? There are an estimated 70 billion trillion stars out there in the visible universe. Many are surrounded by planets, and some might be suitable for habitable life. A small percentage of these worlds might have existed and been habitable long before Earth. But in the context of the universe, this small percentage still represents millions, probably billions of places where advanced life might have sprung forth. Experts have concluded there could be many advanced civilizations which predate us by approximately 1.8 billion years. So, if that's true, then where are they? How did they develop? What happened to the first civilizations of the universe? Number three, the universe killed them. Well, that's a super depressing way to start a video. Sadly, this will be the case for the majority of civilizations out there in the universe that are older than humanity. Earth-based life has had its fair share of good fortune over the past few billion years, with the planets literally aligning in our favor to protect us from cosmic dangers. We have Jupiter to thank for shielding us from many large comets. We exist in the habitable zone of a star which is in its stable period, and we have an atmosphere which saves us from super-scorchy Bernie gamma radiation. However, as the prophet Tyler Durden once said, on a long enough timeline, the survival rate for everyone drops to zero. Ancient civilizations would have to survive everything the universe threw at them over billions of years. Cosmic radiation could have stripped their planet of its atmosphere. Their sun could have reached the end of its life and expanded. A hypervelocity star or rogue black hole could have shot through their solar system and obliterated everything. There are so many things in the universe trying to kill you. It's a miracle we're still around to make this observation at all. But if we can survive in our violent universe for as long as we have, then the sheer size of the cosmos means older civilizations may have done so too. The oldest known planet, PSR B1620 26b, was formed 12.7 billion years ago. This planet almost certainly never hosted life. But if another planet of this age was life-suitable, then advanced civilizations may have developed far earlier than they did on Earth. Our planet formed 4.5 billion years ago. We think life popped by 3.8 billion years ago. Advanced life, i.e. you, me, and the rest of humanity, only came around 200,000 years ago. But this is not a universal template. Intelligent beings could have formed on other planets more quickly or slowly than humanity. We might be a bunch of big cosmic doofuses being held back to repeat the grade. Or mankind could be super smart geniuses, thanks to our pushy parent, the Sun. Until we find other intelligent beings, we just don't know. But if life does develop at roughly the same speed as here on Earth, then there could be a bunch of cool older kid civilizations out there dating back 8 billion years. You know, unless they've killed themselves. Number 2. Self-Destruction The Great Filter is a hypothesis which seeks to explain why mankind has yet to meet an advanced civilization. It describes a series of hurdles any life form must overcome in order to sustain long enough to become intelligent and ubiquitous among the universe. If your planet is habitable, which is no small assumption, complex life must then form out of simple life, as it did here on Earth, via the transition from single-celled organisms to complex, multi-celled organisms. Aliens wouldn't just appear out of some giant vagina-shaped chasm. They would have developed from other beings over billions of years. From there, animals smart enough to use tools must emerge. And in turn, you need one group to become smarter than the rest and dominate the planet. Oh, hello, humans. It's about time. We've been waiting a while for you tardy, hairless monkey jerks. If one of these steps is missing, you won't have anything close to an advanced civilization. At any point in history, one of our ancestral species could have developed a behavior which was terminal for their chances of developing further. If that happened, intelligent life would have never come to pass. 
And something we take for granted is the idea that when being is smart, its species will automatically live for millions and billions of years. The Great Filter almost certainly has further hurdles waiting for us, and indeed any advanced life forms in the future. Some will be natural hurdles such as volcanic eruptions and meteor strikes, but others will be of our own making. Overpopulation, climate change, highly destructive superweapons, nanotechnology, bioengineering. Any one of these could wipe us out in the next hundred years, and the same applies to every advanced race in the universe. We cannot possibly imagine the incredible technology we'll come to create in the next thousand years. My grandma still has a hard time figuring out what the internet is. So, over a billion years, who knows what we'll come up with. Some inventions may protect our species, others could obliterate us. We'd only likely know when it was far too late. So, if advanced civilizations were able to form in the earliest days of the universe, it's likely some of them destroyed themselves long, long ago. Number 1. They survived. If advanced civilizations were present billions of years before us, then it's possible that they lived long enough to leave some form of mark on the universe. They might have reached Type 2 or 3 on the Kardashev scale and started manipulating planets and stars. They could have begun a cosmic seeding program and spread life in the form of bacteria to other habitable worlds. We humans may be the creation of another extraterrestrial life form. Our solar system could have been arranged in such a way as to make it perfect for habitable conditions to emerge. We live in a giant alien greenhouse. Maybe. All of these are possible if a civilization has existed for billions of years. In fact, Michio Kaku believes that Kardashev 3 status, the ability to manipulate the energy of an entire galaxy, would take humans no longer than 100,000 to 1 million years to attain. Beyond this, advanced civilizations would then move on to gaining control of the universe, the multiverse, the quantum realm, and the very fabric of time itself. We don't know if such things are achievable within the time frame the universe has existed. But if they are, then the earliest civilizations could have transported themselves to an entire new level of reality, while we were still developing in a ditch someplace. Another thing we must consider regarding super-old civilizations is the form they might take. Mankind took 3.8 billion years to develop from bacteria into humans. After another 3.8 billion years, what will we consist of? If the first civilizations still exist, they might not look like anything we've ever seen before. We would likely find it impossible to communicate with them, as you'd know if you ever tried to hold a conversation with bacteria. And in some cases, just like bacteria until the past century, we might be unable to detect them when they're right in front of our noses. Eventually, Biological evolution will be superseded by technology. The first civilizations may have gained themselves the ability to transition into different dimensions or planes of existence. We don't know if sentient life is able to exist on another plane of reality outside the one we inhabit. We also don't know if life can sustain beyond the boundaries of time or space. But if they can, and a civilization is old enough, there's a chance that this is where they are right now. And it's where we'll end up too, eventually, if we survive long enough. We're going to explore the likelihood of this in our bonus video, The Self-Destruction of Earth, which you can watch in our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that's bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, 
but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.